The climate change uh, response strategy is now the blueprint for the government of Kenya to address the climate change issues and will inform uh, projects and programs, activities uh, of, uh, uh, related to climate change. The action plan process is spearheaded by the government of Kenya in collaboration with uh, all the stakeholder groups in Kenya, including uh, uh, civil society groups, including um, the private sector, and uh, including the communities, and uh, also including uh, the, the, the government ministries and institutions. And therefore, it's not a one ministry issue. And this deliberate so that uh, there, there is ownership in the process even uh, before the implementation stage. The objective of the action plan process or the action plan itself is to operationalize or to implement. And uh, the action plan has nine interrelated subcomponents that I will briefly touch on. The very first uh, subcomponent that we believe is the ultimate goal of the action plan is to deliver to Kenyans a uh, long-term national low carbon development pathway. You can refer to it plus, perhaps as green development, as a low emissions uh, pathway, amongst many other popular terms that are used. And uh, we believe that this will not be possible unless uh, there is the right legal uh, environment. And therefore, we have subcomponent two that addresses issues of uh, enabling policy and uh, legal frameworks. And uh, then we have the real backbone, or the, what we really want to deliver, or what will make the, the, the delivery uh, reach the ground level, the community level, and that will be through the development of a, a national adaptation plan to address, uh, to, to increase the resilience of the communities and, uh, of course, our ecosystems, of course, to climate change impacts. And this also will go hand in hand with uh, addressing issues of mitigation through the development of uh, uh, a framework for nationally appropriate, mit appropriate mitigation actions, uh, popular, popularly referred to as, uh, as NAMAS. In the NAMAS subcomponent, also issues of red, red plus, of course, will be addressed. And uh, then, lastly, we have uh, space. Oh, thank you, sir. And then we have uh, what we are referring to as the enablers. These are cross-cutting uh, cross uh, subcomponents or cross-cutting uh, issues. They include the National Technology Action Plan to address issues of uh, technology uh, development and transfer. They include issues of uh, national performance and benefit measurement to, include, uh, to, to address issues of uh, measurement, reporting, and verification, MRV. And then they include issues of uh, how we archive and share that knowledge that we acquire along the way and of course, some of the knowledge is existing. We are not assuming that we are starting from a vacuum. And this will be a subcommon sub seven that addresses issues of uh, knowledge management and capacity development. And then there will be the, 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 perhaps the main enabler, of course, the uh, financial resources, where subcomponent eight, of course, will address issues of uh, uh, delivering to Kenyans a financial mechanism, a comprehensive financial mechanism to address uh, climate change. And then you see at the left hand corner running vertically upwards is the, the subcomponent that coordinates the whole process. And this subcomponent works closely, of course, uh, with the Ministry of Environment through the Climate Change Secretariat uh, to coordinate uh, the process and brings harmonization and avoid overlaps amongst other issues. And uh, in the action plan process, we have deliberately included, again, the major stakeholders in Kenya, government ministries and institutions. We have included the uh, CSOs, we have included the private sector, and we believe we'll be able to reach the communities through uh, deliberate efforts to create a national and county forums, perhaps to all the 47 counties that are envisioned in the Kenya Constitution 2010. And then at the bottom we have, uh, this is the area where the consultancies that are working on the different action plan uh, subcomponents are, you, you are, are located, and they work hand in hand with the thematic working groups. Thematic working groups have been formed uh, based on uh, uh, expertise and uh, experience of the different uh, of the different players. So we have institution, institutions that are specialized in certain aspects of uh, climate change issues, of course, uh, being represented. And we also have individuals in their private capacities because they are vast in different aspects of. Uh, climate change, including adaptation, mitigation, financial mechanisms, amongst others.